Hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. Um, Instagram is live, Facebook is live, so hey guys, welcome to this week's live session. Um, it's great to be here again. Um, some good news, I'm feeling much better than I did last week. So um, I'm still a little bit sick, but um, I'm much, much better, so that's great news. Um, so y'all are ready to do the things again and to get back to action and everything at full steam ahead. So yeah, that's great. Um, some other good news. Hi Natasha, all the way from Oetzwerding. Um, so um, great to see you online as well. Some other great news. Um, I'm doing a three-part series on Pretoria FM. So I had my first session this Monday and then my second session is next Monday at 9.20. And then my third session will be the Monday after that. So it's a three-part session on how to change your passion into a business and to make some income from your passion. So I'm very excited about that. It's a three-week session on um, Pretoria FM. So if you want to know more about that, tune in on Pretoria FM every Monday um, from 9.20. And um, then you can hear what I have to say on that on the radio. So great, that's Victoria FM, and then we have some other great news coming your way. Um, keep our uh, Facebook and Instagram um, channels, keep a look at that. Um, yeah, I just got a call on my phone on this side, always busy, so let's just see. Okay, Instagram is still live. Um, so great news coming in, we're going to distribute the Millionaire 22 <coughs> book throughout the country, um, so yeah, we've, do, we've um, signed with a distributor, so this is coming your way um, right across the country, um, so we'll give some more um, info on that soon. Okay, I lost Instagram, I'm just going to end live video here, and I'm going to start a new one, sorry guys. Okay, sorry guys. Um, let me just start my video. Sorry, Facebook. Um, Yo, yeah, checking connection, getting up and ready. Okay, we're live again. So we dropped this side. Um, so just to recap, I'm on Pretoria FM for the next three weeks and we've signed with a distributor to distribute how to become a millionaire 22 throughout South Africa. So very excited about that. Um, that's that's going to be great. So uh, this week's question is, <coughs> um, Albert, you've studied industrial engineering, um, IC1A. Um, so yeah, this week's question was, Albert, you studied industrial engineering, you did um, businesses on the side, and how did you do it? How did you manage to study industrial engineering, have your businesses on the side, and do everything that you do? So I'm gonna talk a bit about time management and how to manage your time more effectively to get uh, more things done in a day. Um, the video is paused again on Instagram. It looks like we're having some problems this side. I don't know, yeah, maybe just check it out. Um, I don't know if I should go on Wi-Fi as well. Let me just uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, I get another Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's talk about um, managing your time better. So first of all, juggling balls. Okay, okay. Instagram is back. Hi, see you name Natasha. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, so we're talking a bit about time management and how you can manage your time better to get better results. Because the question was, Albert, you studied engineering, um, you had businesses on the side, how did you do everything? So the first thing is juggling balls, okay? My dad was, uh, told me a lesson that said, look, Albert, if you want to do a lot of things in life and you want to do them well, you need to be an excellent juggler, okay? So let's say a juggler picks up three balls and you want to juggle all of them. Um, if you drop one of those balls, then you're going to have to stop to pick that ball up 
and then then you can you have to stop with, with everything that you're doing, um, pick that ball up, and then you can continue juggling. And then you might lose out on um, being able to juggle all of the other balls as well. So the idea is to touch each ball just long enough so that you can keep all of them in the air and can keep on juggling them and um, keep on touching all of them. So the idea is to determine how much time you should spend on each one of that balls that you're juggling. Um, so just to make sure that you keep all of them in the air. So you need to determine how much time do you have to spend on something to keep it going or to keep it moving forward? Okay, so if, if you need to spend six hours to get your 60% on your subject in varsity, then that is what you need to spend on it. If you, if you want to get 80, you're going to have to spend 10 hours. If you want to get 90, you're going to have to spend 20 hours. But you can get 60 by only spending six hours on that. And you'll see that the amount of time that you spend on that um, study field or topic is not always linear to the result that you get. Like I said, if you spend six hours, you get 60%. If you spend 12 hours, you would not get 120%. You would most probably get like 70%. And um, you, can, you can extrapolate that. So you'll see that the amount of time that you spend is not always linear to the result that you get. So you need to decide and calculate um, to see uh, how much time you have to spend on these different items um, to get the best result necessary for the time being. Okay, great. So that's just a bit about how much time you need to spend to juggle these balls. So you spend enough time to keep all of these balls in there so that you don't drop one, so that you don't have to stop with everything that you're doing and start over again. Okay, so that's that's the one thing about juggling balls um, and keeping them all in the air. The other topic that I want to talk about is time not planned is time wasted. Okay, if you're not planning your time, you're wasting it. Okay, you need to be able to plan your time and determine what you're going to do when you're going to do it. So, for example. If you know that you're going to have a rough week on Monday and you want to watch a movie on Sunday, okay, you want to rest out. If on Sunday morning you just decide, look, I'm going to watch a movie now, I'm going to crash on the couch, um, afterwards you're going to feel like, wow, I didn't really get anything from this, I wasted my time. Um, after the two hours of watching this movie, I just basically crashed on the couch and basically missed out and I could have started studying or I could have started working on that things that I need to have done for Monday. <laughs> on the other side of things, you can say on, on Saturday or Friday that look, I'm going to have a busy week on Monday, I'm going to schedule a two hour movie session on Monday, on um, Sunday. So in that case, um, you can say look, um, I'm planning this two hour session, I'm going to take some break on Sunday and I'm gonna watch that movie on Sunday and then afterwards you'll feel like wow I'm rested um, I watched my two-hour movie I'm ready to go for this week and I'm feeling energized and well rested so that's that's the other option to do that to plan ahead and to know what you want to do beforehand then it won't feel like you wasted time it will actually feel good and you'll get things done um, okay, and the last one is prioritizing. You need to decide on how to prioritize and um, what is more important to get your end goal. Because at the end of the day, when you start doing a lot of stuff during the day and you, and you have to schedule a lot of stuff during the day, you'll find that there's a lot of stuff in between. It takes up a lot of your time. And if you can say, look, um, I'm going to decide what's a priority and what gets me further towards that goal, then you should focus on that. So if you can make, in my book, I have, um, I have a book here. I have like, I, I talk about how to create a proper timetable and to schedule the things there. And then I also talk about a list. 
And you can see on this list, you have priority items that takes you further and makes a bigger influence in you reaching your goal. And then you also have other items that's just the daily mm, you know, stuff that comes on your plate that you have to handle and take care of. Um, so if you can prioritize that and focus on things that move you forward and only schedule those things, um, then that can also help you a lot with, with, your, with your time studies and with your um, performance and time management. So okay guys, that's just three topics. How to, um, so we talked about how to juggle your balls and make sure that you, that you touch each of the things that you need to do every day. Um, just to keep your hands on one single item long enough to keep it in the air. Because if you drop one of them, you're going to have to stop with uh, what you're doing, pick it up, and only then you can start juggling again. So you need to make sure that you touch each of these aspects um, just long enough to keep everything in the air. Um, then time not planned is time wasted. So you need to plan your time ahead of time. And make sure that you put that in your schedule so that when you finish doing it, you feel good about it and you feel like you've actually accomplished something and you don't feel like you've wasted time. And then the third thing is prioritizing. Deciding what is important and um, what you should focus on that will actually move you forward. And then prioritize, prioritize those things above the other things that's just the day-to-day -day, um, that you have to do. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit about um, managing your time. Cool guys, um, the Instagram didn't work today, so I'm going to try and, and get that started up again. Um, but normally there's a lot of questions that come through on Instagram. I can swipe left to see if there's anything on Facebook um, that came through. But otherwise than that, um, I'm going to close this video off. There's... Um, Yo, we've, we've been live for a, few, for a few minutes. You can watch the video again um, on my profile if you've missed some of the things that we talked about earlier. And um, yeah, that's that for this week. Uh, send your question through on our social media platforms and then I will answer them. Um, so yeah, great. Thanks for joining in, guys. And uh, have a great day. Awesome.